Hi, my name's Ray and I'm Chief Pilot at Random Heli. I'm also a tool guy. I love tools, especially measuring tools. This is a set of digital calipers and with it I can measure things very accurately. Well, let's say you want to measure your skid pipes to decide what size skid clamp is right for you. But you don't have a set of fancy digital calipers. What do you do? Well, in this little video, we'll show you a very cool way to use some high school geometry and a little bit of math, a pencil of paper, and a ruler to make an extremely accurate measurement. I hope you enjoy the video. Have fun. Okay, I'm going to show you how to measure your skids with really simple tools. You don't need a fancy pair of calipers to get a really accurate measurement. All I've got is a ruler, a pen, and a piece of paper. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. I cut a strip of paper and we're going to wrap it around the skid tube. As you pull it around, overlap it nice and tight and leave a little edge there so that you can see where the overlap is. Then make a mark as accurately as you can right where that overlaps. Do a good job. You get a better measurement. So we're going to unwrap a piece of paper and we're going to line up the end of our piece of paper with let's say the tin on our ruler. Now I have a ruler with millimeters on it. That's pretty helpful. So I lined it up with the tin. I've got 10, 15, 16, 17 and a half millimeter. This says 17 and a half millimeter. If you remember your high school geometry, the circumference of a circle is equal to the diameter times pi, or 3.14. Well, since we want to find the diameter, we'll rearrange the formula to say diameter equals circumference divided by 3.14. So we measured the circumference and it's 17.5 millimeter. So let's divide 17.5 by 3.14 and we get 5.57. That is what this calculation says is the skid tube diameter. Well, let's see what the calipers say it really is. So you can see with our fancy calipers, we get 5.45. Well, that's huge. We had 5.57. We're off by 0.12 millimeter. How bad is that? Well, I'll show you how bad 0.12 millimeter is. The thickness of this paper is 0.1. So you just measured with a pencil, a ruler, and a piece of paper, the diameter of your skid tubes accurate to the thickness of a piece of paper. And what I'll tell you is when you use larger skid tubes, these are something like a 450 or 500 series. When you use something like a 600 or 7 series, you'll be right on the money. Really accurate. So how cool is that? 